Hey everyone, I'm Marty, and this is Atlas. Yes, that, you could say, controversial Atlas. Well, the game itself is just a survival slash sailing, building, crafting type of game, but there was lots of, you could say, controversy around this game, with the release being postponed a couple times, or all the hate and criticism the game receives uh, because it's not finished, it's buggy and all that, which of course benefits with everyday updates because developers work on the game and now the game has been updated to patch version 10 which brings lots of changes and lots of uh, tweaks and balances so that's cool it's always a good thing to raise your voice and say that this game is not what we expected. Well, maybe I went too far with calling it controversial, but <laughs> it was definitely lots of negativity around the game at its start. And let me get a couple things out of the way. First of all, I've never played Ark because I didn't like dinosaurs. I, I don't like this environment, I don't like this theme of the game, so it's my right to not buy something that I don't like. And this is why I, I've never played Ark. And I hear and read that Atlas should be Ark's DLC. Well, I think there's many people like me. I bought this game as something new, as something separate, and if Atlas was just a DLC to Ark, I wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't play it. So think about Atlas as a new game, not as DLC, from this point of view, that people who don't like Ark, for some reason, it can be the silliest reason ever, they might try Atlas instead, because in my case, there's no dinosaurs there, right? Well, like I said, I bought this game, I had some reservations at first, I watched many many hours of stream and then I've bought the game and played it, now I have like over 40 hours on the counter and I've decided to just play it and record it. I have high hopes for the game and as always in my so-called everything ser series, this will be everything Atlas series, I will check everything that game Atlas has to offer. All the buildings, everything that I can craft, uh, ships, sailing, exploring, taming animals, building base, everything I can until I get bored <laughs> of it because there's nothing else to do. Alright, this should be my character and let's start the game. Alright, so we start in Freeport let the textures load yes it is 40 frames per second by the way i play on you could say that my graphic settings are pretty much high except the shadows okay okay so i get 45 now frames per second 35 you can see the counter on the left top of the screen I decided to wait to start in Freeport tropical Freeport Southwest because it's easier to manage that body temperature and to not be cold uh, and it's easier so first thing we're gonna do is to get our basic tool which is pickaxe for this we need some stones. On my way I'm gathering some food also, fibers, because we need that. Some monkeys going around, super cool. And we need wood. To get wood we need to hit tree. Punching is super slow, <laughs> it's funny, 
and it takes my HP. But I need that wood. Okay, I think I have six. Eight even. Wow. Okay, that's fine. But I haven't leveled up yet. So I cannot build anything. Okay, so I'm gonna gather more. Whoa, hello elephant. The gaming industry is changing thanks to the people, consumers. Games have always been buggy. Don't tell me that games were not bugged in 90s, early 2000s, and you know, because it was always buggy in gaming world. But people were silent about that. Um, some reviews were talking about bugs and criticizing the game, but now what I see, and it's great, that people as consumers are sound, arise, and straight up say, listen, I bought this game and you give me this, you know, and developers are like, wow, okay. Well, some of them are like, wow, okay, okay, let, let's, let's make it right. But some of them are like sad and go home. But it is good that people start to be heard and they express themselves. Of course, excluding hate and excluding all that nonsense and all those channels. Okay, I leveled up. Fortitude. It's what I'm going to get and basics and this is what spear. Yes, I will need spear for now. That's it. So let's make my first pickaxe and with pickaxe, I can now easily get flint and some wood, of course. And this will lead me to get axe hatchet these are stones let's be okay got flint now i can craft hatchet aka axe actually it's hatchet whatever and now i am going to um craft spears lots of spears like 10 yes so like I said, it's a good thing because people change the gaming industry, making developers be better, simply. But uh, what I was saying, I was saying about those drama channels that thrive and live of all those things, but they often bend the truth. Well, lowest details, yes, it was the launch day, the lag was horrible, and I've never seen... MMO game uh, being like perfect at its launch. Seriously, I've never witnessed that. N maybe something I've missed, but seriously, MMOs always at its launch, always laggy, uh, you know, annoying, frustrating. So I, <laughs> I just stay away of games at their launch, excluding bending the truth and. Um, you know, hating, like straight up hating, uh, which brings only negativity and uh, no really changes, but feedback, uh, constructive criticism, and sometimes just, you know, being pissed, like, what did you give me for that money? Um, why this game is so horrible for that money? And I see that some developers like No Man's Sky, right? In case of Atlas, at least for now, they're like, okay, we will make it better. You'll see. It was rough at the start, but now, you know, they are just ambitious. And this is good. And this is thanks to the sound of consumers who can write reviews and, you know, be heard and seen on the internet. All right. I think I have enough. Okay, I have over 10 spears and it's time to hunt. And I will not be stupid to attack something that I cannot defeat. I will look for turtles, like monkeys, uh, rabbits, whatever appears in tropical environment. I'm not even sure. So I will look for those creatures and get hide from them, leather, skin, whatever you call it. Uh, of course, I'm not so stupid to attack elephant because I would be dead. And mm, I forgot to mention free ports 
are not so safe. There are good places for resources, there are good places to start and to level up and to learn the game. The game is uh, hard to learn, but easy to master. That's my opinion. And it's not good to stay in here, because even if we build a raft, the decay rate is very high and it's just... Freeport is just to level up and get out of here. And come back here for resources, because this place is full of nice resources. Really? I think I got my spears back. So, like I said, turtles, lots of hide, leather in this case, and meat. Oh, I can hear another turtle mad at me. Faster, faster. Okay, where is you? Oh, here. Okay, another one. And people, I see questions or statements uh, on forums and such uh, saying why people still buy this game even if it's so bugged or s statements. People still buy this game even if it's so broken bugged. Well, first of all, the game looks amazing. Sorry, digressing, but this looks cool in 60 FPS. I cannot complain. Wow, this is nice looking night. The moon is a little <laughs> funny, but uh, uh, oh well. But yeah, so uh, why people buy this game? Because it has lots of features. It's survival. In my case, it's one of my mm, most favorite genres, which is survival, free world, free building, lots of customization. We can build beds and closets and storages on ships, not like only upgrading linearly, if that's the word, but, um, you know, we can... Ship is like, like our house. We can put things in there we want and we craft things to put on our ship. Okay, level up. Fortitude. And... In general, it has so much, so many features, so, so, so many cool mechanics that we hope, I hope, that the game will be fixed, but even broken is still better than other survivals. Okay, next in line will be, I want to get those advanced tools as fast as I can, but first, no archery, I would like to... Yes, unlock basic building, but I will be going to unlock wooden stuff. This will be in lawless region. Um, so what now? Now I it would be nice to start a fireplace, make a little camp, build me some outfits, because this is why I was getting hide for. So camp. Do we have some wood? Yes, not much, but some. Alright, and I'm pretty much set for a start. Water is not a problem. At first I was like running to those uh, water pools to get water, but now... We can just look, I found out that we can just go to green area, press and play a little mini game and get some water. Yay! And it's not a problem. Hunger also, like I said, the, the game is hard to learn but easy to master. At first, all that balancing vitamins, you know, uh, vegetables, meat, fruit, fish, like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, uh, it has to be balanced because I was eating one kind of food only. Well, as we learn, it's not really a problem. We get some... I, I actually have no fruits. Before I build a raft, I want to explore a little island because I need to find saps. Saps will be useful later in the game and I want to go south or north but to the snowy areas because they are least populated areas, snowy areas, 
like tundra and uh, yes i want to maybe find some land to claim there although i hear that there's no land to claim all right so i'm gonna craft a torch and go and explore the game looks really really good and i really really like the fact that there are elephants bulls cows uh, monkeys not dinosaurs and this was pretty much like like i said if it was still in like dlc and yes yes one more thing i wanted to say i don't know why i don't really want to be involved in all those arguments but people say that it is bad because it's just arc reskinned well fallout 3 and fallout new vegas we could say that new vegas is just reskinned uh, 3 what about fallout 1 and 2 for example it was it were just the same games but with different story same looking games like wh what is this argument reskinned arc because it runs on the same engine it has the same ui like pff, how many games do that it's like it's normal thing there's no such thing as some like reskinned like duke nukem 3d and blood risk blood was reskinned duke nukem 3d and it was like in 90s like i i just don't get that this is just ridiculous argument of course it's, it's this game is based on some existing engine and assets pretty much fallout 4 fallout 76 also but this is not this is not something bad oh you this argument i don't understand and i just it's un unreasonable i talk a lot in this episode i'm really sorry i just want to find some saps yes i found saps Now I have to go back to the port. I've got what I was looking for. I think the port is there, yes. And build me a raft. I will not bother building um, sloop, the boat. Although with patch version 10, it's available at the free ports, every free port. But for now, I need a base. Which will be my raft. Mobile base, I would say. What? Is it so weird that I'm swimming here? I'm actually very curious about bugs in this game. When will they appear to piss me off? And, you know, I will not be hiding it. So yeah, the game might be not optimized, but let's be real. Uh, when there's lots of players clustered in one area... The, the FPS frames per second will always be not so great, right? Will be lowered. It's it's normal thing in MMOs. What I would want to see in Atlas is uh, same what we have in Conan Exiles. Single player slash co-op local, whatever you call it. That would be great. Then again, they're private service and this is another topic. Okay, my first raft. I will call you the babe all right now we talking let's get out of this place i hope i will not bump on anyone i'm not getting out of this place completely i ju i'm just tur trying to turn to that little little lagoon here so I can get some stuff on my raft so what I want on my raft when I start is bed some storage and fireplace so first let's get to bed and storage I cannot really craft anything for storage yet so let's see handyman I was usually rolling with it's huge closet <laughs> uh, at the back of my raft but let's go with the storage okay I've crafted what I wanted and more so 
let's build it now. Let's start from my bed, which is simply respawn point. As long as the raft lives, this will be my storage box, although I will save some space for another one if needed. Fireplace somewhere near me. And as bonus, a chair. Okay, what I need now is fruits and fish to get me going. Let's find some fish first. Okay. Got some fish, meat. Wow, there's lots of it. Oh, it's a tuna, so. You know what they say. You can tune a piano, but you cannot tune a fish. Okay, I'm gonna leave, leave that meat to be nicely cooked. And I go get water. This is the last point before I leave Freeport. Follow the signs. Water, water, there we have. All right, I'm ready to go. And I'm leaving Freeport with the sunrise. Of course, I will be back here soon enough. No big deal, uh, but I want to just, you know, it would be nice if I stayed here and leveled up to level 8, but I kind of want to rush, so no, but uh, I will be back here soon, anyway, for resources and such. And let's go. Where the wind blows, which will be north. Okay, let's go north. I would go north uh, east to be honest so that way and let's see where we end up the border of the sector aka server let's hope we'll be just fine I've experienced ship crash when changing the the servers so let's hope this one will be good but that and more in the next episode so thank you very much for watching see you in the next episode or in other videos feel free to subscribe to the channel it helps a lot and thank you very much for all the subscriptions and that's it for now bye and uh.